I, this, this will be my last tune, and uh, I just wanted to, to give an enormous thanks to Earl. Um, I, uh, when, when, when my friend's bike got stolen, uh, I was very distraught. <laughs> um, and uh, I put a little note up to, to fa on Facebook seeing if anybody would be willing to help me out uh, by, by hosting a concert. Pick me! <laughs> Pick me! <laughs> Yay, Burl! <laughs> so and, and of course you are uh, a part of it, so we'll carve each of your names in the bicycle and uh, <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> the eventual bicycle. Um, so I, I really appreciate it very much, Burl. So uh, Well we appreciate you. It's been a great it's night. It's been an awesome and great. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah great. thank you. So so talented. Very talented. Well thank you. Um, Sometimes it, being a musician feels like a useless skill. <laughs> and I'm like, how am I going to raise money? All I can do is play music. Um, so uh, it's nice yeah. to feel that. Uh, That's tough, old girl. Um, so uh, I, I thought for, for my last song today, um, I would play this one for you. This is, a, this is a song that I wrote for one of my biggest heroes in the world, both uh, in his music and also in his life philosophy. Um, he was a, a man by the name of Oliver Schroer. And uh, Oliver was one of Canada's, if not one of the world's most incredible violin players. Um, mm. I, I played violin for about 10 years as a kid and I thought I knew what a violin was supposed to sound like and then I heard Oliver on CBC with Sheila Rogers one day and I nearly drove off the road. I just was <laughs> like, amazed by, by what I was hearing. Um, there's a pizza box somewhere that has Oliver Schroer scribbled on it because um, I had to remember his name. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've, I've, I've since made it a, a bit of my, my life mission to spread his music to the world um, because Oliver is unfortunately not able to do it for himself anymore because he um, passed away from leukemia four and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and, and if you're worried about forgetting his name, then please ask me for it. I'll write it down for you and, and give you album recommendations because um, I, I really, it deserves to be heard. Um, but when uh, Oliver, before he died, he decided that he wanted to play this one final concert. And uh, he decided that he was going to call this concert Oliver's last show on his tour of this planet. Mm -hmm. And he put up posters all over Toronto that said exactly that. And he ended up selling out Trinity St. Paul's Church, which is one of the most wow. beautiful old churches in the city. It seats about a thousand. Is that people. in Toronto? In Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. That's where they recorded. There's an uh, Cowboy Junkies album called The Trinity Sessions, which they recorded in that church. Wow. Uh, it seats about a thousand people. He sold it out. People came from far and wide. Nice. And uh, he played this concert. And a month after standing on that stage in front of that sold out crowd, he died. Mm -hmm. uh, one month later. And uh, I was listening to him again on the CBC. This was now um, uh, right before this concert. And he was doing you know, some promotion for the show. And one of the things he said in that interview that really struck such a, such a hit of nerve for me was when the doctors gave him the news that his condition was terminal and incurable, rather than having a feeling of panic, he was very surprised in that moment to find himself overcome by a feeling of peace. Mm -hmm. Because he realized in that moment that even though he had such a short amount of time left to live, he didn't need to change anything because he was already doing exactly what he wanted to be doing with his life and all he had to do was just keep doing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought that that was such an amazing, perfect state for a human being to aspire <laughs> to be in. I guess. And, uh, wow. and, uh, <laughs> yeah. and I wrote a song about it. <laughs> As I, I <laughs> so uh, if you can imagine, um, this song mm -hmm. takes place on that stage at that final show. But uh, something that I've been trying to remind myself to say as well is it also takes place right here on a Friday night in Pontypool, <laughs> Ontario, exactly. uh, where uh, I 
put a call out into the world and the world responds and, 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 and helps me out and I get to play for a lovely group of people on a snowy night and uh, I feel like my life is the same way. So I thank you for being wow. the catalyst for that. Thank and, you. Uh, I thank you very much for, for coming and uh, I wish you the same in your own lives. I don't wish you to die anytime soon. Why, <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> More wine for everyone. So, uh, so this is called Oliver's Tune. Still are hungry, spirit warm. And in view all around me, my friends have gathered near. And all I've ever needed is right here. But if I look too far ahead of me, I stumble in. Tragedy, really, it's not sad, you see. Cause here I am playing my final song. Doing what I've been doing all along. And you can call it courage, or you can call it strength. Really, it's just simply carrying on While amplifying all the good You've been engaging in With only just a few less days To squeeze all of it in. But if I look too far ahead of me I stumble into tragedy Really it's not sad, you see Cause here I am playing my final song With all of you surrounding me So when I'm free from gravity I will know that I was never wrong Doing what I was doing